And we live in the most interesting of times. I think and for, for a while there, I was like really getting demotivated and losing sleep over the sort of the threat of AI danger. And then I finally sort of became fatalistic about it and said, well, even if I knew it was annihilation was certain, uh, would I choose to be alive at that time or not? And I said, I probably would have choose to be alive at that time because it's the most interesting thing, um, even if there's nothing I could do about it. So then, you know, then basically a, sort of a fatalistic resignation helped me sleep at night because I was having trouble sleeping at night because of AI danger. Um, now, what to do about it? I mean, I've been the biggest, the, the one banging the drum the hardest, by far the longest, uh, or at least one of the longest uh, for AI danger. And, and these regulatory things that are happening, the single biggest reason they're happening is because of me. Um, Do you think they're ever going to get their arms around it? We, we talked to the vice president this afternoon. She said she wants to regulate it. People have been trying to regulate social media for years and have done nothing effectively. Well, there's, there's regulation around anything which is a, like a, a physical danger to, or a danger to the public. So car, like cars are heavily regulated. Communications are heavily regulated. Rockets and aircraft are heavily regulated. Um, the, the general philosophy about regulation is that when something is a danger to the public, that there needs to be some uh, government oversight. Um, so I think, in my, in my view, AI is more dangerous than nuclear bombs. Which, and we regulate nuclear bombs. You can't just go make a nuclear bomb in your backyard. Um, I think we should have some kind of regulation with AI. Now, this tends to cause the AI accelerationists to get up in arms um, because they think AI is sort of heaven, basically. Um.